Hey everyone, welcome to or back to Life as a Law Student. My name is Nicole and I'm a 1L at Washington University in St. Louis. Today I thought I would tell you guys a little bit more clearly what I actually want to do and why I'm in law school in the first place. plenty of law students on both sides of this topic who either do know exactly what they want to do post law school or have no idea and are just hoping to make a good career out of it or are marginally interested in a couple different areas of law. If you are a pre-law student and thinking about going into law school, either one of those camps is perfectly fine to be in. I just happen to be in this one over here. When I was little, I knew that I wanted to be somewhere in the justice system before I even knew what the justice system was. Police officers, judges, lawyers, and detectives like Detective Gadget or Nancy Drew were always my go-tos when somebody asked, what do you wanna be when you grow up? And that never really changed. For a brief stint in middle school, I thought that maybe something in publication or journalism could be another alternative for my career path. But ultimately I realized that I would get way too frustrated with people's lack of grammatical skills and reading the same thing over and over and over. Plus, even though I was pretty good at writing and research growing up, and I would like to think still today, it's not something that I particularly enjoy doing. And so in high school, I worked my way back into the world of law. And so in high school, I worked my way back into getting interested in the field of law. And particularly when I joined the mock trial team at my high school as a sophomore, I was a prosecutor for my team. And I distinctly remember the first week thinking and probably saying out loud, can I just get paid to do this? Now I'll be the first one to admit that in high school, my passion for justice and becoming a lawyer was pretty limited to just the thrill of being in the courtroom the socially acceptable way to argue and debate, and the vague sense that I could make the world a little bit more fair. But as I've grown into adulthood, my motivations for pursuing a career as a prosecutor and trial litigator, and my passion for justice has expanded far beyond just being something that I enjoy doing. My primary motivation for pursuing the career that I am actually stems from my faith as a Christian and this is something that I've talked about a little bit before on my channel and hopefully is evident even where I don't explicitly talk about it. I grew up in a Christian home and attended Christian schools for most of my life. When it came time to choose a college, I knew that I wanted to continue growing in my faith and build that foundation out for when I did eventually go to law school and enter the world of justice, which is very often not just and very much not a Christian environment. The nature of the work is very secular. I'll be dealing with some of the worst of humanity, or maybe a more appropriate way to say that is the worst of human capabilities. Because ultimately I believe that without the Holy Spirit and God in our lives, we are all capable of committing the most heinous crimes. So as I said, I wanted to go to a Christian college so I could really build in my foundations while I'm out on my own for the first time before I enter a world that is going to challenge everything that's important to me. Um, not that I didn't feel secure in what I believed, but I wanted to be able to defend it. Basically, the God of the Bible is one that is all about justice. And part of justice is consequences. Especially as a prosecutor, one of my primary jobs will be to make sure that people who do commit crimes in our society are put in jail or rehabilitation program or facing probation or some kind of consequence for the action that they've committed. We can definitely get into what are appropriate consequences versus inappropriate consequences and the often claimed lack of choice that brings people to these circumstances, but that's a topic for a different video. Plenty of people, Christians and non-Christians alike, seem to have a lot of problems wrestling with the God of the Old Testament who wipes out entire people groups who don't follow him and punishes his chosen people group, the Israelites, when they rebel against the particular command that he has given. Many people, myself included at times, have looked at these passages and think, how could a loving God do something like that? But ultimately, it's not far off from what we want done to each other when we disobey society's laws, or even when we've been hurt by an independent person or corporation within our society. 
Consequences are a necessary part of justice, but it's important to remember that they aren't the only part of justice. And that's why God consistently throughout the Old and New Testament and outside of the Bible in the world of yesterday, today, and tomorrow also displays rich measures of mercy and grace. Furthermore, Jesus Christ is characterized throughout the Bible as an advocate for all of humankind as he goes to the throne room of God and sits before the righteous judge of the world, pleading on our behalf for forgiveness, grace, and mercy. And he doesn't stop there because beyond just plain forgiveness for everything that we do wrong all the time, Jesus also blesses us with the guidance of the Holy Spirit so that we can take part in his magnificent kingdom work. Now, I am very cognizant of the fact that a lot of what I'm saying is pretty Christianese and assuming that you know a lot of things about Christian beliefs that not everybody knows. And so if that's the case and you would like me to make another video or send some resources your way that explain this more fully and clearly, please let me know in the comments below. I would absolutely be happy to do that. For now, let it suffice to say that my faith in Jesus Christ, God the Father, and the Holy Spirit is what compels me and motivates me more than anything towards my future career and the way that I would like to embody the responsibilities and roles that I'm eventually given within that career. A lot of this thought process also developed why I was at Wheaton, so that's another reason that I wanted to talk about it first. Beyond spiritual motivations, I see my future role as an advocate, as a need that society has right now. Now don't get me wrong, there are plenty of lawyers in the world and more people graduate from law school every year than can find a legally related job. But I also see a perpetually unfulfilled need in public defender and prosecutor offices specifically to come at the issue of criminal justice not as two adversarial parties arguing for different sides, but as people who need to take unique perspectives to reach the same goal. There are definitely people who would disagree with me on this interpretation of what the justice system should be, but my personal belief right now, subject to change and whatever I learn in the next couple years, is that the goal of the justice system should be to seek justice on both sides. I would hate to be in a room with a public defender who fought for their client and advocated for their client unceasingly without regard for the people who had been harmed by their client's acts. Now, I'm not saying that public defenders should throw their clients under the bus. That would be very unethical and totally counterintuitive to the whole point of why we do what we do in the way that we do it. But just like I would hate to see that, I also hate to see prosecutors who treat trials as competitions and notches in their statistical poll. Prosecutors should not be treating defendants as inhuman or undeserving of any form of grace, mercy, or second chances. I would love to see offices on both sides take a more holistic approach to the way that they pursue justice in our criminal system. I want prosecutors to take into account the circumstances that brought the defendant there and the motivations for whatever crime that they may have committed when they're determining what sentence or charge they're going for. I wanna see defense attorneys be as compassionate for the people that their client potentially hurt as they are passionate for advocating and defending their client, which again, they should be doing. I just don't see what we're doing now in the criminal justice system as working with mass incarceration in the United States having numbers that not only surpass the percentage of populations in other countries who incarcerate their citizens, but just the, the sheer number of the population in our prisons being greater than the population in any other country's prison. That's a wild, the United States is actually not that big compared to a lot of other countries with many more people. The fact that our jails are populated more heavily than a lot of countries in the world is mind boggling and it clearly indicates that we're doing something wrong. Maybe some of my viewers in other countries or even my own country would disagree with this, but I don't think that Americans are particularly more prone to crime or just being bad people than anyone else on the planet. I think there's a lot of factors in my country contributing to people feeling like they have no other option but to resort to crime or growing up without regard for the impact that their actions can have on the lives of other people around them. I think taking a more human approach or a more merciful approach in criminal justice 
would go a long way in fixing this problem. And even if it makes no difference in the statistics whatsoever, I will fight and die on the hill that it is much better to treat somebody with respect and acknowledgement of their humanity and the fact that they are made in the image of God than to not. So why am I in law school? Well, it's to make as big of a dent as I can in treating people with respect who are in the criminal justice system, both on the side of victims and perpetrators. Although I think that the path God has me on right now is towards a career in prosecution, I'm definitely open to other possibilities that he might bring my way in the future that are going to combine my skill set of public speaking and arguing and research when I have to with my passions for advocacy, justice, and looking at people like they matter. I didn't work my whole life to be a good student and an active member of my communities so that I can get into law school. My goal has been and always will be to get to that point of advocacy in my career where I feel like I'm doing what I was born to do. Being in the law school community and rubbing shoulders with people who have similar passions to mine who I can learn from and watch go succeed in their own careers has been an incredible opportunity so far and I look forward to another five semesters plus two summers of that for sure. But I also can't wait until they're over so I can see what God has coming for me next. If you are in or on your way to law school and you have specific motivations or reasons for why you're there, let me know in the comments below. I would love to compare stories and hear what you're excited about. Also, I would really appreciate it if you would take the time to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I would love to keep this community growing so that we can continue sharing what's going on with each other, see what's happening in the legal community, and encourage us on our journeys within that as we go. And as always, I will see you next Monday with another video. Until then, God bless.